Hi y'all, how you doing? This is Orlando Backyard Gardening and today we're gonna take advantage of this, of this beautiful weather. And just I decided today I'll show you what I have going on, some of the things I have growing. Um, in case you're interested in, in what I grow here in Orlando, Florida, Zone 9B. And let's go, I'll show you around. All right, follow me. It, is my greenhouse. It's a little messy, so excuse the mess. I have seedlings in here right now that I have growing. I have some peppers and tomatoes and other seedlings that are growing in there. Keep the fan in here. Got a heater in here. And then I got another passion fruit that got growing in there. I'll plant that once it gets a little warmer. I got a tamarindo there, which I have it in here. Once it gets warmer, I'll put it back outside. A couple other little things in there, but that's where I keep most of my tools, dirt and stuff. Once it gets um, hot, it'll be um, not good to have plants in here because they get hot in here, but it's good. This is my storage area. I use in the summer for storage basically all right and it is um i believe 15 feet long i believe the, it's like a six by 15 foot all right let's go back to the other section that i have left for you good morning y'all it is a gorgeous day here in orlando florida and i'm just gonna give you a little partial uh, a tour right now of some of the things that I have going on and right in front of me maybe some of you might recognize those but these are mango tree flowers panicles that's what these are called and it is that time of the year they are blooming I have one here this is a pickering and then over here I have one in a pot and you can see panicles there. That is a Raposa mango. They are flowering. I will probably pick off any fruit because they are still a little small to fruit. It'll probably be maybe another year before I let those fruit. Okay, and then I have here a lychee. This one here is an emperor lychee. It just flushed. Usually at this time, you don't want it a flush because this is the time where you want to have um, the trees flower. But with the warm weather that we have, uh, we've been having, it decided to flush. And it's fine with me because this is a small tree. It's not ready to fruit yet. I have another one next to it. This is a Mauritius lychee. And then I have some flowering. As you can see, they're nice flowers. This is um, Guandule, also known as uh, Pigeon Pea. And then I have some of our native Everglade tomatoes. These are native to Florida. They are very hardy. They can handle drought. Um, they do not have much um, this problems with diseases or bugs. And they have a sprawling type of growth habit. They don't really grow up. They spread out. And this is a few of them. I have more over here. These are a little bigger. These are a little more further advanced than those. As you can see, they are very productive. They produce a lot of tomatoes. However, the tomatoes are very small. They're actually smaller than cherry tomatoes, but they are very flavorful. They have a nice flavor. And you can pop them in a salad or eat them like that. Okay, that was your Florida native tomato. And I have some more mangoes here. I have another mango here in Edward. It's not flowering at all yet. But I do see the buds there, so I'll probably flower a little later in the season. 
I got some more some peppers that I have growing I have peppers and tomatoes that I have already out here because of the good weather that we've been having I do have a greenhouse so a lot of these seedlings that I have put out here I got peppers and tomatoes you know I have some cilantro those can be brought into the greenhouse if we do get real cold weather and here I got some more things growing some more peppers you know different peppers that are growing they enjoy this cooler weather that's um sapodilla a hasha sap sapodilla and again i got some more of these florida everglades tomatoes somebody gave me seeds um this past uh summer fall i believe about fall and i planted some and here they are they're growing nicely is my peppers my peppers are all blooming and they're they're full of peppers there i have an eggplant which is going to start blooming soon there's a bloom a couple eggplants and here's my peppers more peppers i know it's not the it's not the ideal time to grow peppers but with our good weather you know i i took advantage and planted some and this here is a june plum it does have fruit they hang it in there it's starting to grow out in winter this kind of dies back you get all these yellow leaves but it's starting to grow back in so it's starting its new growth already this here's another mango that I have it's not doing anything for me it looks like this year it's not going to flower this is a Fairchild mango I have some garlic and then back here we got some more peppers I even have some potatoes in here peppers there and more of the Everglades tomatoes I got them all over the place I put some in the ground I put some in pots just to experiment okay and then this here is my cotton candy doesn't seem to be doing anything right now I'm not sure if it's gonna flower or or what's gonna do this year but it's still a young tree so I'm more interested in new growth and not flowering buds at the moment this is my lemongrass which is now flowering this is the flowering season for this lemongrass it's pretty big i'll probably have to take some uh little uh pups i don't know what they call them out divisions out and maybe spread it around somewhere okay and these here are my mango seedlings they're in boot camp these are going to get grafted onto eventually as they grow bigger i will graft other varieties onto them this is uh this is a five dollar one that i bought it was in bad shape so i'm trying to see if i can get it back into shape and see if it does something for me this season this one is a nam doc mai so we'll see if that does anything this is a recent purchase of carry which i tipped off and as you can see if you look closely it's already gonna bud out so i'll get about looks like it'll be about three or four new shoots coming from that node right there and i'll get it to start branching out for me and then here is i believe this was a kent or keat it was another one of those five dollar specials been nursing it and it looks like it has new growth that's going to be coming out and this is a little rosy gold rosy gold graft that somebody gave me it looks like it'll probably be maybe trying to put a panicle out or hopefully that'll be new growth i got another one another two little nodes coming up there and then 
another one there. So hopefully in time, that one will will grow up to be a nice little, nice little uh, rosy gold plant. All right, and then here, this is my groomy chama, which I transplanted not too long ago. It looks like it has done well with the transplant, and it looks like it's likes it where it's at right now. And this is some rosel hibiscus, which I need to chop down. It's already past this prime. I just have pods on there for seeds. All right, this is my lo longin. Long in there. I tipped it. Hopefully to get it to start branching. We'll see what happens when it does its next flush. And that is a. Uh, I forgot what this is, but it's it's not gonna stay there. It, it's something that I'm growing an experiment. <laughs> All right. I have some blackberries growing here, and this here is an apple. This is a Santa Rosa apple. I had it in the ground. I pulled it out because it wasn't doing well. And then I was throwing it out and then decided just to put it in a pot. And there you go, it's grown back. Don't know what the future of this one is. I might give it away, we'll see. More lemongrass and more Rosel, which I have here uh, saving for the seeds. And then we have yet another mango. This one here is a pineapple pleasure. Um, doesn't seem to be flowering or flushing right now. It did flush late in the season last year, so um, I probably won't get any uh, flowering on this one. But uh, let's move on. All right, this here is, oops falling apart <laughs> this here is my uh, persimmon which for some reason is falling apart I gotta check it I may have to trim it back looks like there's dead wood on there but it should still be alive it's just dormant right now they lose all the leaves and they turn into a stick in winter so this one here is a fuju persimmon comes uh, probably in another month or two it'll start flushing out again okay this is my lemon which has already given me some flowers I have some lemons forming I've taken off all the lemons that were on there already it's uh, a Meyer lemon and up against the fence I have passion fruit. This is a yellow passion fruit. Hopefully uh, the weather behaves and stay nice. We should get some fruit off of this this year. All right, well, let me pause here and then we'll start another section in a bit. I don't want this part to get too long, okay? See you in, see you in a little bit. 